Thousands of cattle have died after more than a million acres burned in wildfires along the Texas-Oklahoma border. It is a disaster for a lot of ranchers. News Force Tanner De Leon spoke with one local rancher who knows how devastating it is for those affected, so that rancher decided to step in and help. Well, that's exactly right. Now, these local ranchers, they told me this is the worst wildfire destruction they have seen in five years. Not only is it destroying everything ranchers have built, but because of the huge losses in cattle, they expect beef prices to skyrocket in the future. Everybody says, see something, say something. It's, it's see something, do something with our folks. And we see a need out there, and we just needed to do something. That's the mantra David says ranchers live by, so he and his wife didn't hesitate to help when they heard about the devastating wildfires killing cattle and destroying land. We're taking down hay, round bales preferred, and cattle cubes, and some milk replacer for the baby calves that maybe lost their mom in the fire. Destruction spanning miles for what David says is one of the worst wildfires he has seen. This one's a big one. Uh, there's over a million acres that have already burned up and it's only 37% contained. Uh, they haven't had this much damage probably in five years, uh, and this is historic. It's, it's worse than five years combined right now, and it's still ongoing. One rancher in Texas says he is on the lucky end, only losing a couple hundred cows. You can lose it overnight, but we're, we've been very blessed and very fortunate that, uh, that we, we've only got to lose 200. Thousands more are expected to be dead, which David says will have a huge impact on beef down the road. This is gonna, it's gonna have far-reaching effects down the road. Uh, the cattle business, you know, you can just drive to McDonald's and figure that out in two seconds. But uh, West Texas, that's where they're, that's where they're bred, that's where they're fed, and, and uh, right now, that's where they're dying. Now we contacted the Department of Agriculture to ask about this, and they did confirm that they expect a steep rise in beef prices in the future, and depending on how wildfires go moving forward, it could get even worse. Now we do have ways for you to donate to ranchers suffering on our website, kfor.com.